Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here with another layout that I completed at the crop. And this page kit was put together with mainly scraps. So I'm going to take the background and this page sketch, I guess, I like to do that at least one time for every crop. And every time it looks different. I just take a background, I take a pen, I draw a circle and I take my embellishments and I put it around the circle. But first, I decided that I wanted to mat my photo on that. It's like a wood grainy um, background or pattern paper with chevron, but because of uh, that I'm matting my photo, you can't really see the chevron, but I, I like the way it pops on the layout. So I'm kind of, I wanted to mat the photo because I want to see how big it was. And then I'm just, I just take a pen and I just make a messy circle. I, it doesn't matter. I kind of like it actually that the lines are kind of touching each other and then, you know, away from each other. And it just makes the circle, um, just more dynamic, just like it, it's fluid. It looks like it's actually like moving around. And then I'm going to remat that photo again using some scraps, which had uh, horizontal lines. And I'm just going to have a little border of that around the photo. Usually when I do that, I'll have like one, sometimes I'll have two photos, but most of the time I'll just have the one photo. And this was a photo of us um, a couple years ago when we went um, mountain climbing. Of course, we were camping. And the Christmas before, we had bought these PJs for my daughter. It was actually more like a joke than actually, <laughs> than we thought that she would wear them. It was like Christmas Eve and we were walking around the mall and they had these PJs that she looks like she's a duck or a chicken or something. And they were on for like Normally, they were like 50 or $60, which we never would have paid for that. But because it was Christmas Eve, they were on for like 5 or $10. So we bought one for her, which was like a duck or something. And we had bought one for her fiancé, which was Batman, which he loves Batman. So they actually both love the PJs. <laughs> and she likes to bring them when we go camping and she wears them around the campfire. And she's not embarrassed one little iota. She just loves those PJs. So I thought I would do a layout about that. So I'm taking the embellishments that I had put with this page kit. And these were all leftovers from a previous page. And you know what? They're now going on a page. So I'm super happy about that. And whenever I draw a circle like that, I try to make it so that I take the embellishment clusters and I just spread them. Um, I, I make an embellishment cluster next to the photo and then I spread my embellishments around the circle and it just, I just love that look. So once I put all the embellishments that I had put with this page kit on the layout, then I kind of went into my stash that I had brought with me and said, okay, what else can I add around that circle? So some of the stuff that I wanted to add was some enamel dots and then I'm going to grab some uh, cork embellishments and it was all stuff that was left over from previous layouts so it worked out and even these little stickers from we are memory keepers some of them had little uh, mountains so it, was, it worked out perfectly for this layout because we were in the mountains when we took this uh, photo this layout came together super quickly i think it was i don't know 30 five minutes approximately and I had this page together. So I just keep adding embellishments until I like it. Like at the beginning I wasn't too fussy about it but whenever I find that I don't like a specific embellishment cluster I just keep adding and usually by the time you know I, I add more embellishments then I usually end up liking my embellishment clusters. So while I'm finishing that up, I just want to wish all my Canadian friends, it was uh, Canada Day yesterday. We had a blast. I have tons of pictures that I'll be scrapping in the next few weeks. And then July 4th, which will be in a couple of days, uh, it'll be Independence Day in the States. So I just want to wish everyone happy July 4th in the States. 
and I hope everyone is enjoying their summer. Make sure to take lots of pictures so that we have tons to scrap. Talking about getting a ton scrapped, I just want to let you know that I just released my latest class. It is a two page spread class. And when you're done the class, you'll have 28 spreads done, like 14, 14 spreads at two pages each. So there's 10 sketches where we completed 10 double page layout. And the last four, we're going to be using some of the same sketches and to change it up. And one of those four is actually going to be alive with everyone. So for more information on that class and any other class that I put out, you can go to NicoleJones911.com. And this specific class, the two page spread class is on sale till July 16th, 2018. So to finish this off, I just added some sprinkles. I'm going to take my distress ink in the gathering twigs and I'm going to ink the edges and that's going to complete this layout. Now there won't be any pictures at the end of this video because my camera, my digital camera, the battery was kaput because yesterday I took a whole bunch of pictures. But tomorrow what I'll do is I'll put some pictures on my Facebook group. And if you're not part of my Facebook group, you can check in the description box below and join us there. And also I put pictures on Instagram and a whole bunch of other places. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. If you're enjoying these videos, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up. And I want to thank you so much for watching. Bye.